On Monday, the Supreme Court ruled that U.S. presidents have absolute immunity from criminal charges regarding actions that fall within their presidential duties. So we have to understand that this is it, it, it's not unlimited. OK, this is saying that only things, only actions that a president must do, which obviously is up for interpretation, but the Constitution does outline that the government has to ensure the common defense, promote prosperity, promote peace, tranquility, ensure commerce. So the basic things of, you know, ensuring the country can be uh, have a level of peace that allows commerce to be conducted. Got you. That's what the president's supposed to do, according to the Constitution. That's all he's supposed to do. He's not supposed to make your life easier. He's not supposed to give you free stuff. He's not supposed to do any. He's supposed to make sure that, you know, people aren't constantly shooting each other so that you can buy and sell. And and and, and the Shane, in, in this particular instance, the six three ruling, what was it? What was it for? So this is this was uh, this stemmed from Trump trying to overturn allegedly, the election results. Oh, this is what this one was. So okay. when when he left office, they tried to charge Trump with trying to overturn an election because he tried to challenge the results, right? He said there was election interference. He was trying to ensure election integrity in his eyes. Um, and so they they said that he committed a crime. He His legal team fought back saying, no, he was doing duties as a president and he is immune from criminal charges. Um, this has gone all the way up to the Supreme Court now. Now the Supreme Court decides he is immune. The president, in theory, is immune. And in this instance, Trump has presumptive immunity. So they're not saying he is immune from this crime, but they are saying that he is presumably immune. And then they ordered a lower court to take up the case again and decide if this decision applies to him. So they're not even saying that he's immune from this crime. Yeah. They're just saying, yes, presidents should be immune from being tried for every last thing they do in office. Otherwise, the country wouldn't function. And this has been an unspoken rule since the beginning of America, because if you as the president need to, you know, say, kill the leader of ISIS, are you going to be charged with murder for that? Yeah, that doesn't make no, sense. No, that doesn't make sense. How could a president ensure the common defense yeah. and promote tranquility if he has to be tried for every last crime? He's not a civilian. He's the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. And, and Shane, and Shane so and he, th and this, not to cut you off, I'm sorry. No. In, in this instance, he didn't try to overthrow. He didn't try to overturn. He's just questioning because at the end of the day, we found out that they did cheat. Yes. They have been cheating from the FBI going to the to Twitter and doing all the suppressing stories to all these mail in drop ballots that we've by the way, all these states that have been getting people have been getting caught and arrested. Connecticut, uh, Wisconsin, they cheated. I don't care about the level. It, exactly. And then in, in 2000, they did a recount. George Bush and Al Gore did a recount. And the vote ended up going to George Bush. In 2016, Hillary Clinton called for a recount and she got her recount. Doing recounts is not illegal, and Trump was not exactly asking for a recount. He was saying that perhaps the vote itself, there was something wrong with it. But he was, you know, doing something within the legal means of a president or even of any civilian, which is to say, hey, I don't think this election was fair. That's election integrity. Yeah. So they they crossed, uh, they went unprecedented by doing mail-in ballots. Yeah. And then also, the thing is, with all of this, is that... Um, they are freaking out right now. Democrats are freaking out. I actually haven't seen them this energetic since, I don't even know, 2020? Yeah. Since yeah. Trump was in office. Yeah. That was the last Literally. time they were melting down They're, to the capacity that they've melted down since Thursday's debate. I They're love freaking it. out. So first was a debate, and that got them pretty fired up. But this ruling, I think, set them over the top. And on Twitter, they were flipping out. So first, Sotomayor uh, gave the dissenting opinion. She's a liberal justice yeah. uh, on the court. She said... The court effectively has created a law-free zone around the president, upsetting the status quo that has existed since the founding. Not true. This new official act, immunity, now lies about like a loaded weapon for any president that wishes to place his own interests, his own political survival, or his own financial gain above the interests of the nation. Uh, he go she goes, um, when he uses his official powers in any way under the majority's reasoning, he now will be insulated from uh, criminal prosecution, order the Navy SEALs uh, see Navy SEAL Team 6 to assassinate a political rival? Immune. Uh, organizes a military coup to hold power? Immune. Takes a bribe in exchange for a pardon? Immune. Immune, immune, immune. And then she goes, um, the relationship between the president and the people he serves has shifted irrevocably, and every use of official power, the president is now a king above the law. Oh, God. Uh, so we I'm go to river. the uh, first uh, tweet on here. So first, this is a VT.com article. Um, 
This is the first one about the presumptive immunity. And then the second one, follow up from Mason. Biden supporters call for military action against Trump after Supreme Court ruling. Oh, weird. Uh, weird. The same people that are crying want that to happen. Yeah, so first Chuck Schumer says, this disgraceful decision by MAGA SCOTUS. He's saying the Supreme Court is MAGA SCOTUS. Like he's saying it's it's no longer the Supreme right. Court. It's now a political entity. Yeah, yeah sure. He, uh, he says it undermines their credibility and suggests political influence. Trump's all in our courts today. Political influence. This is coming from the same guy that went on MSNBC with Rachel Maddow and said not to mess with the intelligence agencies because they could screw you six ways from Sunday. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's, yeah what is the guy that put that tweet out? Or yeah. whose intern wrote that tweet because he's 90 years old and doesn't but, use Twitter? Brother, this exactly. is the same guy that puts cheese on uncooked burgers on the grill and wants us to believe anything my, that this piece of shit wants to That was so my funny. was the meme that said, just like you humans, I unhinge my jaw <laughs> and yeah. eat the these burgers yeah. like everybody else. Yeah. Vegan patties after he gets back from the Pride March. And his niece is Amy Schumer. So let's not talk oh, about God. credibility what a, here. What a, right? what, a, what a golden really? family yeah. they are. Yep. Uh, America's finest. So um, second tweet. Uh, that's the Sotomayor thing. If we go to the third thing. Uh, Harry Sisson. That's uh, it. Benny, this, your guy, your this guy gets me sick to my stomach. Everyone has to go watch Vinny on Piers Morgan absolutely demolish this kid. He uh, tries to. <laughs> Vinny just I want like, him. guys like just I, these watch are, it. like these are the faces of like if when I was in high school and stuff. And the military, those are the guys that I beat up. That face, that voice. By the guy, the guy was talking shit about Trump, and I was like, "Bitch, you were 12 years old yeah. when Trump was in office. It? Who the fuck are you talking to?" He looks like a guy that got swirlies once a week. Oh, and the sure. I think, I think you day. don't put opposite. He didn't get enough swirlies. Like, <laughs> yeah. if I saw this guy in high school, he will get the biggest oh, wedgie every what day. What are you doing? Fuck every wedgie! Day. I would have whooped his ass. But go ahead, Shane. So yeah, so first, this kid tweets: According to the Supreme Court, Biden could now. Send in SEAL Team 6 to take all of them out. He could send in the military to take out Trump. He has immunity for official acts now. Uh, so Chris Lissavita, who's a Trump campaign advisor, just goes, expect a visit. Oh, please. So he then posts this video absolutely flipping out over this. Let's watch this. Oh, that's so good. Love this. So Donald Trump's campaign manager just <laughs> threatened me on social media. I'm not joking. In response to the immunity decision from the Supreme Court this morning, I said on Twitter, according to the Supreme Court, Biden can now send in SEAL Team 6 to take them all out. He could send in the military to take out Trump. He has immunity for official acts now. And I guess the Trump campaign didn't like that very much because Trump's campaign manager, Chris Lasavita, responded to me by saying, expect a visit. Now, what do you think that means? Is the Trump campaign threatening me with a visit? Are they saying they're going to send their guys to my house to try to keep me quiet so I won't advocate against what, their oh, candidate? What Is that pussy. what he's implying here? <laughs> you know, I'm just using my First Amendment rights to tell them how awful their candidate is. But of course, the Trump campaign doesn't believe in all that. Trump said he wants to be a dictator on day one. This really is the perfect summary of the Trump campaign. Their candidate is so terrible that they have to resort to tactics like this. But here's my message to Chris Lasavita and the entire Trump campaign. No. I won't be quiet. The tens of millions of Americans who don't support Donald Trump won't be quiet either because we see Donald Trump for what he is, a con man, a fraud, and a convicted felon. Bro, that guy, like, that kid, like, seeing somebody like that, he has no pubic hair. Like, that, <laughs> when I none. see somebody like that and that talks like that, completely Ken Barbie, no pubic hair, no <laughs> fucking masculinity, one of the softest, bro, and that's the, that's the epitome of the left. Mm. That's what they are. Soft, white, no facial yeah. hair, young, like, I'm so, everything so suburban, so, like, suburban, has never, never had been a bad punched day. in his face. Yeah. I would bet. A million bucks, that loser has never been punched in his face. Oh, I bet he spent more time inside of a locker than inside of a woman. And it's entire <laughs> life. Just like, help, let me out. Yeah, he's, he's a douchebag. He's bro. Biden's number one supporter on Twitter. Yeah. Um, the kid has, like, everything is just Biden, Biden. Like, he was literally like, all right, there's a niche open right now. Being a Biden supporter, like, as much as I could possibly be. And I'm going to be that. He's not even, like, right, right there he goes, you know, all of us who don't support Trump. Even he has to still be like, okay, I'm not going to say all of us who support Biden. Biden, we're just those who don't support Trump. Yeah, exactly. But still, he loves Biden, and people were passing around this fake tweet from him that was like, I'm going to call for Biden to step down. It's been a pleasure serving him, but now he needs a happy ending and like all these innuendos. Yeah, and, and he quotes it and goes, I never said this. I love Biden. I'll yeah. fight for him till well, the so, day so I die. So can I ask a question before I go to Humberto? So this type of guy, this type of voice, this type mm. of, that they're behind, is he getting paid 
by the Democrats. Like, like that, dude. He, he looks like he was made He's in a like lab Disney Thornburg. Channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Vinny, I made those payments before. You just, you've made those payments. Nah, yeah, to other people. Yeah, of like course, Biden of course. Campaign. You, you, you like get, they just they just pick a cute yeah, white little yeah, kid. He's a cute red. little white and kid. Let me let me tell you something. Like this guy, compared to the other Biden Gen Z influencers, this guy is a rugged like Vietnam veteran. He's a tough guy. I don't know if you guys remember. He's actually still a guy. Yeah, he's like well. By his looks, he's not going to be a guy. Like, I don't know longer. if you guys remember the, the, the Benny Drama guy that they got into the, like, when they the came in. The guy with the nails? Yeah, the yeah, guy yeah. with the nails oh, and everything yeah. and Jen Psaki. God. Yeah. And, and then, like, two weeks ago, they had the Queer Eye guys there. Oh, the oh whole oh, the shit show. Yeah. Oh, there's not one single rugged male has come out and been like, I love Joe Biden. No, none. Like, none. Like, like, in 2020, he at least had The Rock. I didn't agree with, like, I... Yeah. Look, the Rock came out and now you said he's not going to endorse. Yeah, I voted for Sorry. him not because of Rock, because I got lied to about propaganda. Yeah, I was but easily now, fooled. Now the light. you're recovering. The news. But you're... now there's no one like that supporting him at all. But bro, think about the left. The, if you think about the average, great point, Rob. The average supporter of the left, the Democrats, it's gays, the mm -hmm. LGBTQAI plus. It's gays and it's soft. White boys like that and just beta men. Like, dude, Harry's a he's a cute little kid. I want to give him a nuggie, bro. Like, you don't exist, bro. He seems he's like nothing. a guy that would lose his job to some type of DEI hire and be like, you know what? I applaud the company yeah. for, you know, moving forward what and trying mean? to break she down. Needs so what do you mean fire? He would quit. He would quit. He'd be like, hey, guys, I'm quitting because we need all more room for gay black people. Just start paying you're a him but Harry's, himself. You're a douchebag, bro. But you're a douchebag, just like the Hassan guy that was on freaking... Hassan uh, Minaj? Hassan, yeah, well, Hassan, all of them, Minaj. Hassan Minaj and, the, and Cheng's uh, nephew. Piker. Who's like, yeah. Hassan, he's like, oh, I'm such a big fan. Anybody that has uttered the words, America deserve 9-11, you can go fuck yourself. Yeah. To the end, there's no excuse and you can't come back from that. By the way, this is a, Hassan is a, a socialist, communist lover with a $3 million house. Yeah, they, well, and don't a Porsche. You, yeah, and a Porsche. Mm -hmm. Guess what? They should tax you 90%. I want mm -hmm. that guy taxed 90% of all his shit. That's how everything is. The, the, he's a communist, but he has a Porsche. Just like they're accusing Trump of the same thing that they did. They're doing like, it. Literally, oh. when they were like, oh, he, you know, he's trying to overturn the election. Really, the election was unconstitutional. Mm -hmm. it, is con it is election day, not election week. Months. And we had yeah. mail-in ballots. They stopped the voting. I mean, I'm sure all of you guys remember we were watching it. And they're like, oh, we're going to be done for the night. We'll get back to you. And it's like, no. what? Yeah, I don't trust well, that. Well, literally everything that they have done, they're accusing Trump of doing it. And then they're outraged. It's like, just like communists, they say they want all equality. But let them live in the mansions. Mm -hmm. Let yeah. them have the Porsches. Yeah. You peasants, you can wait outside. It's called projection. That's what they do. It's always the people that are pointing the hardest. That's It's they're the doing ones. It. The same as the yeah. Lincoln Project pieces of shit. Just like all those guys. It's always the ones that are going, hey, you're the, you're the bad guy. They're the ones with all the skeletons. They're the ones that are doing all the illegal shit. It's yeah. If I can just go to, you mentioned the young kid. He's like, I actually feel if it was the DEI, he'd give up his job. No, I feel like he'd be the first one to be pissed. Absolutely. And he would turn around because he actually doesn't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. And no, he'd he be actually very upset. How could you give up my job? But in front of everyone, I'm going to act, no, equality. But they really don't care. It's just a front because they want the attention. Well, did you see the World Economic Forum is now being sued by all these people alleging sexual harassment? Klaus Schwab got sued for sexual harassment really? yesterday. Yeah, he did. And all these other people are accusing them of being racist behind the scenes. So it's. No like, way. Wow. Oh, really? Mm, Klaus Schwab with that accent. That yeah. guy's not. Yeah. The COVID 19 virus? Yeah, that guy <laughs> has definitely said the N word before. Absolutely. And by the way, what was it with his assistant? Oh, he yeah. said that he put his leg he, up. He would put his leg up on the desk yeah. and to female assistants and go, I'd like to see you in a Hawaiian dress. Like, like what, what kind of What kind of sexual <laughs> fantasy is that? Like, I want to imagine see you in a toga. <laughs> like, dude, those guys are all demons. Harvey bro. Weinstein. I'm, I'm not yeah, even I'm kidding. I'm happy, bro, that the, the, the turning, like, the, like, because by the way, I'm not gonna lie to you. I when I used to hear the future looks bright, I didn't believe it. I'm gonna be I'm being genuinely honest. But then with God, because I know the that that the future looks bright because I believe in God and I know I, I know the end game. But the future looks bright in the sense that people, us, you guys, we are starting to say like the enough is enough. F you movement because dude, the internet is, is as effed up as it is. It's keeping us alive it's keeping us because you can't hide these stories you can't hide this information and that, listen elon musk might be a freaking wolf in sheep's clothing he might be the antichrist his kid might be the antichrist but guess what thank you for x appreciate it before we move on i just want to make a point that pat made yesterday and yeah. i think is i want to be on the record with this because like, he might be onto something he's very smart uh he said that now they're crying about it 
But the people that are going to use this the most, well, guess who it is? is the it? Democrats. All right. Oh, in 20 All years, right. so forget they're, it. They're going to cry about it. I'm calling it now. I'm copying Pat. But um, they, they're going to cry about yeah. it now, and they're going to use it the most. So just, exactly. just, buckle, up. just, wait, also, just buckle up. Also, in addition to that, the reason why they're so mad is because they are the real authoritarians. Yeah. They want to be able to arrest presidents left and right when they don't agree with them. That's the real thing here. It's not they're they're not mad that um, Trump is going to become an authoritarian. They're mad that they can't be authoritarians to the citizens presidents that they elect democratically. That's what's really going on. Exactly. Here. So let's let's be clear here about who really loves power and who, yeah. who's really the king. I agree. Oh, Shane. Great freaking story. You already got us revved up. I'm already pissed off. I want to be I want to. Punch that kid in the slap face. a little freaking kid with z like when you're that young and that white and your face still has like blush on it get the fuck out of here bro you haven't lived a lot you haven't done shit in your life